Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are back in my garage with the third premium tank that's available only in loot boxes, Christmas festive boxes they call them. And it is the British Caliban Tier 8 Heavy Tank, which is the only one that I think is very, very different. Look at this thing. Look at that big fat gun. Why does it have a big fat gun, guys? Well, because this tank, <laughs> this tank shoots HE or AP. They just nerfed HE, so of course there is a premium tank available now whose speciality it is to shoot HE. Hesh, I guess it would be. It says HE, but it's probably Hesh. 180 pen, which is fantastic. 850 damage. It's less alpha than the KV2. And then an AP round, 292 pen. That is pretty good. 600 alpha. Let's probably do... There's an odd number of shells, which is interesting. Why is there an odd number of shells? Let's just look at the, let's just look at the, the details here, okay, guys? It has a gun. I just showed you the gun. Uh... It is an auto reloader that shoots two shots, but it has an odd number of shells. Okay, okay, it shoots two shots. It has an Italian style auto reloading system. Uh, six, what? Reload magazine, six, a minute? It takes more than, art, longer than artillery? Time for auto reloading of one shell, 37, 23. So if you have one, sh if you fire one shell, it takes you 23. Well, I guess with this high alpha, KV2 reloads faster, and it's in tier six. It does 900 alpha. Ooh, that reload, 60 seconds, over 60 seconds. Ay 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 ay, war gaming. You're gonna give me a migraine. Okay. Traverse speed, okay. Minus 10 degrees gun depression is good. Aim time, four seconds. Dispersion 0.57? What? It is British KV2. <laughs> we will see if it can snap like KV2. So it's a KV2, a tier uh, 8 with two shots. <laughs> 130 millimeter uh, front armor on the hull. Crap and crap on the side and rear. 250 on the turret, and the turret looks sloped. This could be a hull down beast, guys. Hull down beast. 33 top speed. And the rest is, oh, 399 view range, which is good. That's with this crew, I think. Okay, let's load it up and take it up for a couple of games. All right, how should we uh, do this? I think uh, we need to run food, putting in tea, repair kit, and large first aid kit. And I should, uh, full disclosure, I did not buy this tank. I did not buy the loot boxes. Wargaming gave me this tank so that I could provide content. And I'm just letting you know. I think it's uh, good for content providers to give full disclosure and say, look, I didn't buy the tank. Right? I'm just, uh, I got it for free. So just keep that in mind. I think we need vents. We cannot, we cannot... Uh, put a gun rammer on here because it's a double shot. So we will put bounty stabilizers and we'll put bounty rotation mechanism. I could go for bounty aiming, but I want those two because it increases uh, the soft. Yeah, let's do that and try and fully aim our shots. We'll try it like this. We'll put some uh, spectacular camo on the outside. What should we put on there? What should we put on there? Let's uh, let's put some tapestry. It's Brit. No, we don't want that. Are you kidding? Purchase? No, we're not. Pur we're not purchasing tapestry. Let's put something free on there. And the, the last thing I should mention is it has three crew members, unlike any of the British heavies. It's actually technically a heavy. It says I got my super conquer commander, driver, and loader. All right. Well, let's uh, take it out. I've never played it before, have no idea what to expect. Let's do it, boys. Oh boy, where are we gonna go? Well, that reload. 
<laughs> I, if I get anywhere by myself with that reload, I'm just gonna get yo load. It looks pretty nice. Okay, shall we take it to the hill? We got good gun depression. And maybe we can make some people pay for poking. We'll make them pay to poke. We'll go to the hill. There's a lot of heavy tanks. Maybe I could go to the one line. Here we go. Oh, it speeds up quickly. And then stops. Full speed very quickly. And then hits 32 and stops. Let's see if it goes over 32 when we go downhill. Overall, it's slow. Does it go 33? 35? 36? Yes. Okay, it goes a little faster than 32 going down the hill. I hit 35, my top speed there. Three hundred and fifty-four meters per second shell velocity. Five hundred meters per second shell velocity. Are you kidding? That's unplayable. That's like one of those joke tanks. <laughs> 747 damage. <laughs> That's funny. This is a joke tank, guys. Come on. This this tank is for the lulls. This is just a silly a silly tank. Look at this aiming. And uh, when you don't hit armor, you're gonna get trolled like that. What, why, Wargaming, why would you release a tank that relies on HE right after you change the HE mechanic so that HE is basically troll you? HE no longer explodes. So that's what you get, right? Uh, in, in the old days, you'd hit someone like that that would do three, four hundred. I guess it hit the track. Okay, now I can hit him. I'm sorry guys, this thing is gonna be... This is an RNG tank, okay? This is an RNG tank. Um, we'll switch to... Um, we'll take two shots and then we'll switch to AP. The first shot made me laugh and the next shots made me cry. See an SU 130 PM. Look at the same time. Look at this. Brutal. W what happened? I thought it had two shots. What happened? Was I not fully loaded? This thing is going to drive me nuts. There's no way. This thing is just going to be like a, a, a tank that is a joke. I've only got one shot. One of my teammates' head exploded. His, um, his weak spot on the top. That's because it's Hesh. It does have some... Uh... It 
does have good penetration. But guys, uh, this thing, well, just as I said, if you if you're if you don't have support, your reload is just so. I'm not gonna get time to. to reload. The, re the reload is ridiculous. And that's it. Another. The reload is ridiculous. Just, just, just take it like a man, guys. Take it like a man. Uh, basically, this tank is um, is just a funny joke, and um, will be unplayable. <laughs> it seriously will be uncompetitive and unplayable. It's just uh, the reload is is stupid. We'll play it a couple more games here, but uh, I can already give you my no bullshit uh, review. This thing's a hunk of garbage. It'll make you laugh, uh, but the reload is un unworkable. Over a minute, you, you, you reload, artillery reloads faster than you guys. Guys, if you, at the end of the game, if you find an artillery, uh, an SPG, and you shoot and miss, he will reload faster than you. The first game is a defeat, and now guys, this is the No BS channel. I'm not going to play 100 games in this thing and show you the one game where you know all the shots hit and I did 7,000 damage and go, oh, it's fantastic, you should buy one and give you the sales job. This is uh, reality, just live gameplay. 2,100 damage in just, well, it took seven shots. Let's play it again, but man, it just, the reload is too long. The, the reload is ridiculous. And I guess to be fair, if you're gonna have a tank with 800 and 50 alpha you can't have a fast reload <laughs> so that's true but it leaves you helpless for too long doesn't it you you're you're too helpless for too long i think where should we go where would be a fun place to go on this map maybe right up in the middle maybe push the one line into the city i don't know i don't know Let's go to the middle. Let's, why not? Why not? Let's go to the middle. I don't know who could, uh, there could be some medium tanks that show up there and maybe we'll surprise them. Time to roll out. I think this tank, uh, again, is going to be a beast on a ridge line. We have to find a map that has a ridge line. <clears throat> and sitting at mid distance on a ridge line, this thing uh, can bounce some shots. We did bounce some shots in our previous game. We, we really got nobody going here. I don't want to go to the city. Even though I am a heavy tank, I'm kind of like a weird heavy tank. All of our tanks are coming. This is weird. Okay, this is a, a bad setup for the team. Let's try and surprise the Lance and see. You want to peek? It's just over the ridge line. Who shall we shoot with this gun? Bushes don't don't work for a heavy tank. This is not the position for this tank. What if we do 820 damage? This is not the position for this tank. Okay, here we go. 
Look how helpless I am with this reload. The first shot missed because I have like a seven second aim time. Let's relocate here. I still only got one shell in the clip. 829 damage. <laughs> it is just a funny tank. It's a funny little tank. That's all it is. Okay, come on. Let's not play this better. Uh, none of the team went into the city, including me. Let's just relocate here. Can this thing snipe? Is it? Can it? Can it? Oh, dear me. Now, guys, this is a joke, right? Oh, come on, Wargaming. Okay, and there you go. Do I need to play it anymore? Screen hit? Uh, Wargaming, you just nerfed HE. You just made HE one of the most frustrating types of ammunition to use in the game. And now you have a tank that shoots HE. It's stupid. You, sh you just reworked HE. You just nerfed HE. I just shot that guy. The shell came from the sky and landed on his top. Screen hit. I've got 180 pen, 850 alpha. It's, it's just stupidity. How do they always get it wrong? I'm sorry to be uh, uh, critical, but something that could be fun is just neutered right out of the box. It's just garbage. It, you know, yeah, it's going to be fun. You're going to laugh when you hit those shots, but like this thing is not competitive. You can't play this thing. And now it's a critical... So the game just decides. No, 460 damage on the T-32. Or screen hit. There's no skill at all. I laugh. That was funny. I hit the T-32 for four, in the turret for 462. Yeah, that, that's funny. Screen hit. Guys, you're watching it live, okay? I am not I do not kiss Wargaming's ass. I do not give you sales jobs. I show you the stuff. No BS. I just hit the top of uh of a Udez. Uh screen hit. Two screens are hit. And two shots did damage and two shots. It said screen hit. <clears throat> wargaming, wargaming, wargaming. Wargaming, Wargaming. We nerf HE, we give them now, since HE is nerfed, we give them VK, which is garbage. Tier 6, and now we give them this. But what about HE? Well, they will have, you know, it's up to them. We're gonna, the next game we'll go for the AP. I guess, I guess maybe the, the thing to do here is just uh, <clears throat> stick to AP. Because the HE rounds are, are troll. And a lot of people stop playing the KV-2. And they stop playing the uh, uh, the Death Star and, and those tanks that rely on HE. For this reason. This is the reason the players stop playing these kind of tanks. It's because you take a screen hit Ah, it's too bad. It is a, a fun idea, but it's just... I don't want to get proxy spot. What? 
because this thing has such a slow shell velocity, if you don't have your uh, marker on the tank, it's one of these ones where your, your aim circle is going to bounce up and down and up and down. That's also annoying. <laughs> I'm pointing out all the annoying things about this tank, guys. Guys, it's a, uh, pretty much unplayable, I'd say. That's some spotting. Unless you get close, this thing is pretty much unplayable. Like, I could do some heavy damage to this force. I mean, it'll take me so long to aim. So my... We're gonna play another game. We're gonna play another game. But my my um, my no bullshit opinion is that this is this tank is a joke, um, and it'll be fun for laughs. Like at the end of the day, when you just want to have a giggle, <clears throat> take this one out and kind of like that same feeling of the KV2. But uh, it's not com it's not competitive. Mark my words, though. There will be some monster games. Obviously, there'll be some monster games where everything goes right, but you're gonna, it's a troll, it's a troll tank. The tank trolls you. Let's play another game. <laughs> the sh shell velocity is just, ay, 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 okay. Eight shots, four hit, one penned. <laughs> Two screens were hit. Jeez. Okay, I'm just gonna have to be uh, patient. And pick my spots. Okay, AP round, 292 pen. Let's go with AP shells, guys. AP shells. Well, maybe HE shells at the beginning we could uh, hit a, a lightly armored target at the beginning and then switch to AP. And obviously we have to go play here where we can uh, uh, play the ridge lines, right? With this kind of gun depression, we have to play the ridge lines. Let's do it. I'd have to say though, this is not a frontline tank because your reload is so long. You're basically helpless while you're reloading. But then again, you can't stay far away because your shots just won't hit. So it's a little bit of an enigma. What do you do with this tank? You just surprise someone and smack them in the face for 800, but... Once people get the, uh... Once they know... That you have a 50... 60 second reload... Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't stop, guys. I mean, I'm the feeble little tank with a 60 second reload, I'll move up. I guess there's no snapping shots with this. You know what, I should probably put improved aiming to make that uh, aim circle smaller, because there's no snapping. Uh, I put uh, uh, rotation and uh, vert stabs, it's probably not the right equipment. You should probably go with the um, improved aiming. far behind the bush. Guys, this is this is unplayable. I'd have to say uh, in my opinion so far that this gun is unworkable. Let's try our best here. A scorpion? Oh, 
Now I'm out of the game for like a minute. This thing uh, reloads slower than artillery. I'll just reload for like artillery here. I mean, it's a it's a funny idea. It's a fun idea, but this is unplayable. You can't uh, reload for over a minute. Some games only last two minutes. tank does not fit any meta at all. I'm gonna go a little, I don't want to get spotted by the scorpion again, but I pretty much have to go back. Like, how would I possibly hit this? Shell velocity a little better on this, on the AP right Well, I apologize, guys, for not playing a hundred games and then showing you that one uh, amazing game uh, where the enemies came one at a time and gave me a full minute to reload. And I high-rolled all my shots and did over a thousand damage on each shot. I'm sorry I didn't show you that game. But um, I'm telling you. It looks interesting. The numbers are funny. Yes. You know, ha, ha, ha. Look at that. Two shots, 850 damage each, uh, but it's it's just a joke. Like, come on, I'm spotted again, guys. <laughs> Are you kidding? This tank is just this is just a joke. We lost half of our engine power. Armor gas tanks ruptured. We're low on fuel. The fire's out. This tank is a joke, guys. I've spotted again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Going stealth. We're gonna have to try one more game, guys. And I can't pen this. It's funny. Okay, I, I hit him, I killed him. It's funny. Ha ha ha. But this tank isn't like a real tank. We, we have to do one more game, don't we? Of the three, I've reviewed all three of them, guys. Check out my videos on the Swedish one and the, the Yo tank. I thought it would be the one that I would uh, enjoy the most. Uh, but I gotta say, it's the one I'm enjoying the least. If I have to rank them, the American M4Y, the Yo tank, is uh, by far the most uh, enjoyable to play just because of the gun handling. Although it has the big Tuma on top the swedish one is a hunk of garbage it's just too slow and the gun doesn't hit anything and then this one is even slower and the gun is un unplayable i guess is the unworkable let's go up here 
Or shall we go right here and fight the tier nines? I'll go up here. I, I don't know, actually. No, I can't go up there. I'll be held up to drive. Uh, I'll, if I take my two shots, I'm toast after taking the two shots. Our light tank just smashed its head against the rock. With this shell velocity, and the shots just looping in like that, there's no aiming for weak spots. Shell's just gonna drop wherever it decides to drop, and sometimes it's gonna say screen not touching. So I think you wanna fight close in. Go! This is an even distribution of uh, players. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> Let's say hello to a leopard. We want to shoot the leopard. It's unplayable. The tank's unplayable. Enemy armor is damaged. The tank is just unplayable. Sorry to say, guys, but... What do I do now? Still reloading. I'm just making them think I have a shot here. And uh, there's no bouncing. I'm still reloading, guys. I might think this is funny, but <laughs> I think okay. Now I reload like artillery. <laughs> it's a joke thing. This thing is a joke. Stupidity, guys. Just stupidity. Uh, you know what? Guys, this tank is unplayable. Uh, I just shot uh, HE. I just shot HE. I hit the T-54. It said, uh, armor not penetrate. Wargaming. I, I understand that you want to put new interesting stuff in the game, but you just nerfed HE. You just made HE unplayable. Why the fuck did you put this tank in the game? Like, what's the point? I'm, am I missing something? What, Wargaming, what's the point? 
What's the point of putting this tank in the game a few months after you nerf HE? Like, explain that to me. What's the point? What is the point? I don't get it. Maybe I I don't follow things or I complain too much, but I just don't get how you think of things. I don't get how you. It's like it's like one uh, department isn't talking to the other department. It's like one department. We're gonna make fun tank. It will have a G round. Oh, derp gun. We will make it the very crap gun handling. It'd be very hard to hit. Very long reload. It'd be so much fun. Meanwhile, the other department is saying. Oh, people are complaining about HE. We should nerf HE. Like, it, it just, it doesn't make any sense, Wargaming. It doesn't. And it, it's just a joke tank that you want people to spend money on. That's my review, guys. Uh, live, the No Bullshit channel. This is... Uh, you know, I, I played the live games and I'm telling you, yeah, it's, uh, you know, go on, have some fun, have some laughs, but the tank is not competitive. It's just a joke. And um, this is why I don't play the KV-2 or the Death Star anymore. Because uh, HE has is, been is nerfed. So guys, there you have it. Uh, five shots, four hits, two penetrated. There you have the review, guys. Uh, my no bullshit opinion is uh, it's a joke. It's uh, it's a piece of junk joke that you shouldn't waste your money on. Uh, and Wargaming, I don't understand uh, how you come up with this stuff. Um, leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you enjoyed my reviews, uh, my no BS reviews, please subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. And stay safe and happy, guys. And have a fantastic happy holidays. And my advice to you is... Um, save your money trying to get this one, okay? <laughs> All three tanks that I've just reviewed in the last three videos available only with Christmas festive boxes, loot boxes. And my advice to you is if you need in-game goods, like if you need gold and you need um, uh, credits and you need premium days, then buying the loot boxes at Christmas is probably a good bang for your buck if that's what you want because you'll get more for your money than if you bought those things individually. These tier eight premium tanks that you might be able to get are kind of just extra. And my advice is don't buy the loot boxes just to get these tanks. Unless what you saw in my reviews made you think, wow, I really wanna have that one. Um, but if you need the in-game goods, it's probably a good deal. Just be smart. Uh, you make up your own mind, make up your own decisions, right? You're all big boys. Don't, if you're under 16, don't take your daddy's credit card and buy 500 loot boxes to try and get this thing, okay? And you don't have to buy 500 loot boxes because you are guaranteed to get a tier 8 premium every 50 boxes and it resets every time you get one. So that is actually a good mechanic that they put in there. But um, anyways, that's my review. We've gone on uh, too long. I will catch you guys on the next one. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you soon.